Today, we will be installing a seed boot stabilizer kit for a John Deere 90 series roll unit. This kit solves excess vertical play caused by wear in the seed boot and main opener arm. Tools required, you'll need a half inch impact, a 15 16 socket, a 5A socket, a 9 16 socket, an 11 16 wrench, and a 9 16 wrench. First, remove the gauge wheel with a 15 16 socket taking care not to lose the shims behind the gauge wheel. Next, using a 9 16 socket, remove the four disc bolts. In some cases when removing the disc, it is easiest to release tension on the closing wheel spring, release tension on the press wheel spring. You can flip the closing wheel up in some cases to make greater room for yourself. A worn seed boot like this has excess vertical play causing inaccurate seed placement and depth the seed boot stabilizer eliminates that by pulling up on the bolt to the top of the casting. To remove the seed boot, use a 5A socket and an 11 16 wrench. It is easiest when installing the stabilizer if you put the jam nuts and bolts in ahead of time. Place on the main arm. Next, you're going to take the seed boot spring. Take care to put the long side of the seed boot spring into the divot of the seed boot. Make sure when installing the pin, take care that the head of the pin or bolt, if used, is on the seed tube side and push it all the way in so it does not interfere with the seed tube placement. Otherwise, you'll have to re-loosen the stabilizer and start over. Next, put your locking pin on. Tighten the bolts to 15 foot-pounds. Do not exceed 25 foot-pounds as there's a potential to bend the pin or bolt causing the seed boot to not move the way it's intended. Use a 9 16 wrench to tighten the stabilizer bolts. It helps if you use a ratcheting wrench. Now with the stabilizer bolts tightened, ensure that the seed boot has proper movement. It's not binding or sticking. Also note how it took care of the vertical play. Now that you have the stabilizer bolts tightened, Ensure that you have proper movement of your seed boot and it's not binding. Note how all vertical play has been minimized. Now you can tighten the jam nuts with a 9 16 wrench. That is how you install a seed boot stabilizer kit from Ready.